I'm about to pour on a canvas with the leftovers from this particular uh, vase pour. So it was the runoff from the vase pour that I did uh, over the top of a canvas. So please enjoy and thanks so much for joining me. So I moved that gorgeous vase aside. So I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing. Can you still see what I'm doing here yeah, pretty much, hey? What I'm going to do with this canvas, so I'm going to pour the rest of the, which I've got loads, way too much for that one item. So I will pour this in a figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, a figure eight. There you go. This is going to be. This would be just a perfect gift because you can give the canvas as a gift with the vase. It's beautiful. So, the figure eight always gives some interesting 3D effects when you pour that way, I find. So I'll just cover my canvas up before I start tilting any off it. So just nice and gently Oh my goodness, that is beautiful too. That is stunning. Love it. How easy is that? You haven't got to think about mixing paints, doing anything. You're pouring straight from the bottle. And this actual, these Montmartre pouring paints actually um, dry, quite glossy. I, I have, I will coat over the vase for sure. But they actually dry quite glossy and like almost like um feel like a vinyl look at that that is beautiful i love it love it look at the sides and everything that is stunning people i'll just give it a whiz with the magic wand the magic wand got a couple of these they're great i use them instead of using butane love them Love this, love this little set I've done. I'll go over my bars as well. Just to get any air bubbles out and it'll start it on its drying process. I found this dries pretty quick, so pretty good. love it absolutely love 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 it look at this perfect to go with the vase happy 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 days love it pouring gods were with me <laughs> oh so blessed thank you thank you for joining me again on a crazy journey pouring over the vase look out for the photos at the end but um i may take this one a little bit further and wait till it fully dries and gloss it and I might add a bit of this and a bit of that who knows but if you'd like to see the fully dry and finished blinged up version hop over to my acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page um, the link is underneath in the description box of this video or you can join our Australian uh, Australian acrylic pouring group the link is below and the, on that particular site that's for you guys to post your work and uh, show what you do ask questions or answer people's questions that you may be able to help beginners so it's a really good safe environment we don't suffer any um, nastiness or spitefulness or bullying it's all for um, helping and building up a village, a village of acrylic pourers <laughs> for such things, or my cellmates. <laughs> so, yeah, so if you want to hop over to that, the link is below in the description underneath this video. And I will also put 
in the first comment, pinned comment, a link to the other vase that I poured. So have fun guys, try this, it is really great and it starts you going through your cupboards looking for anything that you can pour over um, and as well as the charity shops will benefit if you go and buy a few things from charity shops. So until next time, thanks for joining me, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and the next video will be out tomorrow morning, so bye for now. Just wanted to show you the dry version. Well, it's almost dry of that um, cup pour and figure eight pour that I did to match that gorgeous vase. Very, very pleased with it. There's my puppy dog, Benson. Very pleased. And I did give it a little fairy dust blow of um, glitter as you see in there but it turned out like exactly as I poured so look at the sides and everything that's it's actually quite refreshing not to have pours all the time with um, cells or anything because that is just gorgeous and it goes lovely with the vase hey Benson say hello to everybody <laughs> I will link the vase to this video, um, yeah, so have fun, stay safe and keep, keep, um, stay safe and create, that's what I say, you gonna say bye Benson, goodbye. Okay people, this is my finished vase, I've just got it out here on my back veranda, that there is Karoi Mountain, <laughs> it's a little trivia for you it's drying absolutely beautiful around the whole vase is dried lovely of course I give it a, a kiss of glitter I sprinkled some magic on it just at the top there so it turned out absolutely gorgeous just thrilled to bit I'm not sure if you're getting all of this gorgeous detail in there just lovely so worthwhile um, and those pre-made pouring paints are just making it so easy because they actually dry quite glossy and like vinyl-y feel to them so um, I definitely will leave this to dry for about a week and then I will just uh, wipe over with the um, Fusion pouring resin that I water down and just wipe over. This is the top. I it's taken a while to dry because the actual vase had a little divot in it, so it's held the paint in there, and that's going to take a while to dry. But I do want to leave it, so I'm just going to be patient and leave it for however long it takes to dry. So just a quick, very happy, and there you go, it's my big poodle puppy, standard poodle, Benson. <laughs> Did you look at that, baby? <laughs> You're making yourself comfortable. Say hello, say hello to fellow cellmates. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining me. Until tomorrow. Bye for now.